Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, so today I am making a journal cover. Um, now I have mentioned that I have got like a little series that's going to be coming up in the future, which I'm not going to say much about. Um, but I am doing something in that series that's bigger than this and I basically just wanted to trial something so I thought I may as well take you guys with me because <laughs> you know you, you I think that you enjoy seeing my blunders <laughs> um so I had the idea the other day I literally had like 10 minutes and I was like oh okay I really want to make a chipboard um practice cover kind of thing so as you can tell <laughs> It's a little bit messy. So basically what I have here are two thin pieces of chipboard that I have glued together to make two thicker pieces and then the same with this to make the spine and then I've done two pieces glued together to make these two ledges. So I've basically just used chipboard scraps because I, I have like a bag full of um, chipboard paper that I used to make my journals with um, and I had some scraps and I had 10 minutes and I was like right okay let's just do this and I immediately threw together I just like I had um, some pieces that were fairly similar sized so I just literally ran my knife down them to cut them to size and then I covered one side in Fabri-Tac and glued it down and then threw them under a pile of books to sit um, for a couple of days so that I could do this um, today and the same with this but unfortunately because I did it so quickly and threw them straight under uh, the box I literally my ledges have both twisted but to be fair let's just pretend that that's what I intended <laughs> um, so what I've done is I've just got my knife and just dragged it down the side and um, gotten rid of the excess there so what I'm thinking because I've basically got some wallpaper that I want to use as a cover and I don't think I've got enough to cover the width of what I'm doing because like I say it's bigger than this um this isn't even the size of um half an a4 so if I just get this so it's it's not even wide enough like it's it's high enough but it's not wide enough so um if I was to do something um then I would need to chop edges of paper off basically so um regardless I just wanted to try something out so my thinking was to get a piece of fabric and use that as the sort of hinge because I don't want to use the wallpaper as a hinge on a hard cover journal because I feel like it's going to tear and now I'm kind of thinking I, I wish I'd made another set so I could try both ways but either way what I am going to do I think is I'm going to buy some sports tape um there's a type of material that I've heard some people um mentioning on some YouTube videos that they use for um this is a bit dirty. What is this? This is like silk, but I feel like that needs washing. Um, a Facebook marketplace for you. <laughs> Probably should have washed that stuff. Um, right, so I'm going to try this because it's going to be covered either way. Um, and what I want to do is just make a hinge out of fabric and then... Um, put wallpaper on top of it basically so I don't know if this is going to be good enough actually because this is like netting I'll be back in a sec okay I found some more fabric um it's like a a green sort of color it's probably not going to pick that up on camera um I have no idea what the pattern is but yeah doesn't matter anyway. Um, so what I'm going to do is lay this down. So I'm probably not going to use the piece that's got that edge on. Look at me ripping fabric like I'm a pro. <laughs> um, right, so I'm going to need... Um, hmm, I don't know. I only really need the ends. I don't need to f like cover the whole thing. So I think I'll probably just have that. 
Okay, so what my plan is is to make a hinge. So the first thing I want to do is glue this down and make sure that the glue, um, the fabric is actually getting into these folds. So I'm going to just start by doing that. It's so much easier to do something on a practice one than it is like one that you've kind of like really, you know, spent ages measuring out. Like, like I say, I didn't measure this because it doesn't fit any, any paper. <laughs> um, I just literally wanted to, um, just try it on something that I've not made any effort on to like measure and stuff. And like I say, it took me 10 minutes to put this together. Um, and then I've just let this dry for a, a day or so. Um, and then, yeah, it's just really to practice and see if this technique works. So what my plan is, is to cover the, f the hinge in fabric because I don't want to rely on paper for a hinge on a hardcover journal, especially something that I want to last somebody for quite some time. Um, maybe even, yeah. So I just, I want to try and see if it's going to work to cover the hinge in fabric and then put wallpaper over the top of that um, and just see if that actually would work. I have no idea. But, okay, let's try. So first thing I'm going to do is just place this in the middle and then I'm just going to... So normally what I would have done is like run my finger over the glue. That's probably what I should have done. <laughs> Just so like pieces, like bits of it don't stick out through the fabric like what it's, what's happening right now. So let me get a bone folder that I use for glue. Let's just go with this. And I just wanna make sure that I'm getting the fabric really well adhered into those creases. fabric's quite thin but I feel like any fabric whether it's thin or not is still going to be better than just paper right okay so that's pressed in there and now I'm going to attach these so um, I'm going to leave a small space not loads just I think I usually leave about a bone folder's width about I don't know why I'm measuring that right now because I need to glue this <laughs> um right so that's not going to go all the way so I'm just going to glue half of this when the glue runs down so earlier I was listening to Spotify and um it was quite weird actually like there's an AI DJ on there and it literally quite came on and was like hi Ellen and I'm like oh my god it freaked me out when it said my name <laughs> and then I just felt like I was in an episode of Black Mirror I was like oh god what's gonna happen is it gonna like talk to me am I supposed to talk to it like what's happening here um but it was just literally like giving me some um well it started off with some music that I'd been kind of like listening to recently just sort of like a few songs and then it gave me a few songs from things that I used to listen to a lot but haven't listened to in the last few months and then after that it was like so I'm getting the idea that you like rock so I'm gonna just get you set up with a bunch of rock and then it just plays like some of my metal music and stuff like that um but yeah it was it was okay like pretty interesting to just have something say your name on Spotify, it just freaked me out a little bit. Um, so all I'm doing here is just kind of spreading the glue a little bit so that um, I can place this down so roughly about there and I'm going to turn this over because it's gluing through the fabric but I'm just going to make sure that that's nice and stuck down. Um, and then I'm just going to get rid of the excess glue that's on my fingers. 
But yeah, wasn't bad um, in terms of a selection of music because obviously it's all just kind of stuff that I listen to but um, just not in a specified playlist. Though I do put like a lot of playlists on. I've got like about 200 playlists I think <laughs> on Spotify because I just like different things at different times, you know? Okay, so that's stuck down nicely. Sorry if I was loud. And then same again on this side i'm just gonna do a bit of glue here i need to fill this up so that it i don't have to sit here and wait for half an hour for the glue to reach the bottom <laughs> So just I don't know how it would work to have um wallpaper glued on top of fabric like I don't know if I'd get like a nice smooth finish or whether it'd be a bit wrinkly or I just I have no idea how it would work so I'm so sorry if you can hear my stomach. <laughs> right. So that's spread. This is drying like really quickly. Um, and then I'm just going to try and mimic about the same sort of distance from the spine as the other one. Flip it over before it sticks and then just press the fabric. Make sure that it's all glued down nicely. And I'm now covered in glue, so just need to get that off. Okay. It's not all gone, so I'm so sorry if um, bits on the fingers is not your cup of tea. <laughs> um, right, okay. Now, um, I don't know what's going on with this glue. I feel like it's not enjoying the slightly warmer weather that we've been having. Um, I'm just going to refill this bottle a little bit so that I don't have to keep waiting. Maybe sugar bell bottles are not all they're cracked up to be. I literally ugh, could not get that off. I was literally twisting the hell out of the bottle just to try and get that lid off. So just I suppose something to be mindful of if you're going to buy a sugar bell bottle. <laughs> okay so that was the last of what was in my sugar bell bottle and that is now in there um so i'm just gonna put some glue down on the bits that um i didn't put glue down for Spread that out a little bit. Okay. There we go. And then same on this side. So I'm just going to leave that down this time so I can see where I actually need to glue to. I forgot to spread it. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Um, sorry, I get so distracted by glue on my fingers, I just literally want to get rid of it all the time. Okay, so the next thing um, I'm going to do is I am going to glue this over the top here. So, um, let's see where that goes to, and I'm just going to draw a line so that I know where to glue to. roughly. 
Um, okay, so when this glue comes down, I'm also going to run some glue just in between here because I want that to kind of connect. So I'm just going to make sure that there's some on the sides of the chipboard and some along the very ridge of it as well. And then... I'm not going to spread it out, I'm just going to glue it down. So I'm going to pull it nice and tight so that it's down. And then I'm going to get my bone folder that's specifically for glue. And I'm going to just push the fabric down in between there. Now I don't know if this, if my way of doing this is the right way of doing it. Um, this is just how I am going with it. Okay, and then I'm just going to do the same again on this side. So let me just get rid of these threads. And I'm just going to draw a line roughly of where this is going to go to and then we'll do the same again Sorry, I've just been really quiet. I was just thinking about some ideas for um, the other project that I am working on. Sorry about that. Um, right, okay, so now again, same thing. So I'm just gonna push that down into the little crevice. And then pull that fabric across. Now that is what makes the hinge for the journal. Okay. So, sorry, I'm just getting <laughs> the fabric back again. Um, right. So now I've got that. Normally I would just like let that dry um, for ages. I don't know how long. I don't think I've put that on straight. I feel like that's not quite level, but that's fine. This is just a practice. So what my plan would be is to literally cover this journal in the wallpaper and have that just completely cover this fabric. Um, so the fabric is purely there for the sake of making a hinge so I don't have to rely on the paper. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to pick some wallpaper. Okay, so I've chosen this wallpaper, which is like a sparkly um, black one, which is pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> you will see like a bit of a video. Um, it's literally part of this secret series um, of me kind of getting very excited about wallpaper. <laughs> so um, this is from that, um, but it'll be much later in the future. Um, right, okay, so what I'm going to do with this is I'm literally just going to fold it around where I want it. 
So normally I like to mitre the corners, but I was watching a tutorial the other day um, and the person who was doing it just literally, let me just check, is that even straight? Yeah, that's straight. Um, just literally pulled the corner like right up and then just glued it on because I mean there's like silver glitter on this so I could definitely use um my book corners to cover up the ends if it's a little bit too bulky or whatever but that's what she did um so I am gonna do the same um just because like it gave a much better coverage of the journal can you see that yeah um it gave like a much much better coverage of the cover of the journal over mitre in the corners so you know, I'm just going to go with that because it just seemed to work so much better. Um, so I'm just going to, again, use Fabri-Tac. Am I still on? Yeah, just about um, in shot. So I'm just going to go right up to the edges there. So I've not made this fill the whole thing because um, with journals, I like to have like an inside um, page. So... This is quite thick wallpaper though. Hopefully this works. But like I say, it's just a tester. If this works, then awesome. I've got like a, a whole new journal cover ready to go. And um, if it doesn't work, then I could probably rip it apart and make something else out of it. <laughs> That's the beauty of crafting. You can do what you want. Right, okay, so then pull that up nice and tight. Okay, and then I might do that after I've done all the corners. Okay, so same again. I probably didn't need this much, to be fair, to go around it, but I've cut it now. And if I cut it down, I'll have scraps, and I hate scraps, so... <laughs> I feel like I'm a weird crafter. I dislike scraps, I dislike inking, and I, um, I don't like having things on my hands. <laughs> Although I do, I do quite like having Fabri-Tac on my fingers, because it, like... I, I like to sit and pick it off, which is probably gross, but um, I used to do that in school, you know, where you get like a spatula of um, PVA glue and you just literally wipe it all over your hands so you've got like a second skin to pull off, which is gross and sorry. Um, but yeah, it's... Uh, I like doing that, but I like to do that, like obviously in my own time when I'm not filming a video for you guys and I've just like disappeared off the side of the camera because I'm sitting there doing that over the bin <laughs> right okay I should have um, used the bone folder on these I think and for once the top of the video is off camera <laughs> what's happening <laughs> um to be fair like my phone arm is I don't know giving in at the moment is not having a good time so um I'm not sure what he's doing So it's, it's putting, I don't know, the camera in a weird position, basically. Um, I'm just folding that over so I can see the diagonal line that I need to, to glue on, basically. I hope this works, because otherwise this is going to be such a waste of Fabri-Tac. Like, if I was using normal glue, I wouldn't mind, but Fabri-Tac is incredibly expensive. Like... I literally cannot believe how much this glue costs. It's mad because I mean it's not Fabri-Tac. I don't think is um, a British glue. Uh, um, as in like I don't think it's made in Britain. Um, <clears throat> I think we have Beacon Three and One that might be made in Britain, but um, I don't know. It's it's just like it's hard to buy um, in a decent quantity for a decent amount of money. Um, generally, it's just really really expensive. So I try not to waste it, but if I'm making a journal cover, I feel like I haven't really got much choice. I, I need to make sure that that journal cover is um, 
is sticking down properly kind of thing. Right. Um, so now I'm going to apply some glue to the edges. I'm doing these flaps last because I need to manoeuvre them into the, the crevice that I've made so that it folds up properly. Now I'm actually doing it, I feel like because I've used such a thin fabric, I don't really see that there will be an issue, but um, we'll have to see once it's all put together. Preferably not to rub glue, because I mean, the edges of this are nice, so I'll probably have those edges visible, so um, I'm just going to... This is another reason why I purposely go out of my way to buy Fabri-Tac because um, you can just rub it once it's dried and it'll come off. Um, and then it's just easier to like tidy up your projects and stuff. So, and I've just, I've never known anything come apart um, with using Fabri-Tac, so this is why I always go for this. Like I say, this isn't Fabri-Tac, this is um, Beacon 3-in-1, but I, I couldn't get any actually this time around, so I actually have got this, but this does not look legit. And look at that seepage, like what is that? It's not even open, it's supposed to have the safety cap on. So, um, I feel like it's like Amazon's sort of rip-off in a way, like it's pretending that it's fabric tack or something i don't know um but it does seem to work still it's just still stupidly expensive but if you want to do a good job i suppose you've got to have good supplies like if i was making something for myself i probably wouldn't be too bothered but i never know like if i'm making something that's going to go into my etsy shop or whether it's just going to be something that i'm making for the fun of it or as a present or something like that so um, I always just, no matter what, just want to make sure that what I'm making is a, a good quality. And for that, fortunately, I need Fabri-Tac, so. Okay. I might end up literally using a piece of this wallpaper just to actually cover the centre because I have I've got a scrap, I don't know if that'll fit, but um right, okay. So I know that this is all torn up, but this is the section that's gonna be visible realistically, so I didn't want to waste it. Um now I just need to make sure I feel like I've done this too tight now. So I mean, I wasn't sure that like putting the fabric together would have done it, but um, <clears throat> it's it's literally been quite some time since um, I have made a a hardcover junk journal. Literally, the last one is the sepia gothic one that I made. So it's a flip through for that on my channel um, in my junk journal flip throughs playlist. If you want to check that out, um, but that was the last time I made a hardcover. So. Out of chipboard, I mean, obviously the pastel glass series, those ones are hardcover books, but they're not like rock solid cover books, if you know what I mean, which is essentially what these are by being chipboard. So generally, if I'm referring to like a hardcover book, I'm, I'm meaning chipboard. Pretty much. Right, so I'm just going to see if I can just get this down into that groove a little bit. I'm just going to make sure that's as tight as it possibly can be up there. Okay, 
Okay, and I quite like this actually, you know, like the way this looks. I think it's quite cool. Um, the only thing I've just realised is, although I feel like if I burnish that, it's gonna it's gonna show the ledges. But this is why I'm doing it because I've never done a journal with wallpaper before, um, and this is um, about the consistency of the one that I'm planning to use for my secret thing. Um, so it's good to know, like, if this actually works, because I think maybe what I probably should have done um, is glued this to the spine of the journal first on the other side so that I could actually, because um, I haven't actually glued this, have I, at all, to the spine. I mean, to the actual front of the journal. So it's a bit late now, but... These are things, this is why I wanted to do a practice one so that I can see. And also, I suppose it's helpful for you guys because if you're, I mean, hopefully you're not literally following along because if you have, then I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but if, you, um, if you're if you thinking about making a hardcover journal, I mean, obviously there's plenty of actual tutorials out there. Um, but sometimes it's just nice to just kind of trial some stuff and see if it works. So like I've just ripped that paper there. Right. Okay. Okay, so that paper has ripped there and I don't really know why. I'm just gonna burnish on the outside of these ledges. Well, this is definitely not going to be a journal at all, because <laughs> like, but yeah, this is um, a bit of a mess. But to be fair, I have been thinking about having a journal for like an ideas journal, um, you know, where you just put all of your ephemera ideas and stuff like that. So I might just turn this into that, to be honest. Um, oh, it doesn't quite fit. Oh, well, it's a scrap for something, I guess. Um, so okay so that is my hardcover journal done um so over the fabric it seems to have gone okay but then i haven't glued it but i don't know why that ripped there maybe i just caught it on my table or something but um i mean what i'll probably do is put some lace or something over this because i've got those those ledges in there but there's nothing there's no glue there to try and like stick it to them so even though you can kind of feel them and you can kind of see them so like you know burnishing them in so you can kind of see them but i would definitely want them like really a lot more prominent than that so okay that is a an attempt at a journal cover <laughs> although I quite like it because like I just I really like this wallpaper it's pretty um so what I am gonna do is I'm just gonna leave this to dry like this um so I'm probably gonna put like a clip on the front here as well um and then that'll just kind of dry that way because obviously the majority of the time you want the journal to sit closed properly but because of of how I've done this it's not quite worked so um yeah I need to figure something out I'm thinking maybe I'll put a straw or something down here like squash a straw and put it down um like a drinking straw and then that'll keep the pieces separate maybe I don't know but um either way I now have a cool little journal cover um which I will fix here and yeah i think like i say i think i'm probably gonna just get some papers in here and use this as an ideas journal to put some ideas for um ephemera and stuff so okay um i hope this has been helpful <laughs> and interesting to watch um my little practice attempt at a journal cover um i will be 
doing I will be making a few notes about what I've done here and um, what I can do to improve this process um, but to be honest I think the fabric underneath isn't a problem and that was my main concern um, so yeah I just think if I'd have glued this I don't think that would have ripped to be honest so lessons learned but yeah I'm gonna make some notes and then I will make a start on the other journal cover which um you won't see for quite some time sorry <laughs> um, it will be this year but it's just going to be a, a lot later in the year that I show you um because it's a present for someone and um I don't want them to see it before they receive it so um okay so I will um let you go but thank you very much for watching and um, if you've liked it please give me a thumbs up and if you're not already a subscriber please hit that subscribe button because i would love to have you and it really will help out my business all right thanks guys see you later bye